One of them claims to be the birthplace of the green chili burger. Number seven on GQ's list of best burgers in America, and we said, just bring it as it comes. We're Michael and Holla, world travelers, avid scuba divers, and food lovers. <laughs> we quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German Shepherd named Hanna, and now the three of us continue on with our full-time travel around North America in our home on wheels. On our last vlog, we were on a quest to find a special saguaro cactus in Tucson, Arizona. But let the record show that if it is a crested saguaro, I saw it first. Yeah. We continued on with our journey eastward in Arizona. It's a big dog in the sauna. Before finally crossing back into the state of New Mexico, the land of enchantment. We love New Mexico with its amazing landscape as well as its ancient history. We're at the Gila Dwellings Canyon, and I can't believe this is actually 700 years old. But this time, we're back for more of its delicious food. Our quest this time takes us to the small town of San Antonio. That's how they reproduce. I guess so. We just got to San Antonio, New Mexico, and we're parked at a campground just inside in a town that is actually free. When we got here, there was nothing. When we came out of the van, we were surrounded by cows. So I'm gonna take a piece of broccoli and see if these cows want it. Hopefully they don't attack me. Especially the one with the horns. <laughs> here you go. No, you want it? There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, enjoy your broccoli. Good stuff, huh? no place for her to get through other than to walk over it. I think she could probably break a leg if she did. So, this is what we do. Oh. <laughs> we are in San Antonio today, and you might think San Antonio, Texas? No, San Antonio, New Mexico, and we are here for one reason and one reason only. This place has only 100 people in it, but it has two count them two restaurants that are famous for their green chili burgers. One of them claims to be the birthplace of the green chili burger, and the other one was featured on Bobby Flay's Throwdown. And unusually, it won. It beat Bobby Flay's burger. And we've had green chili burgers before, and we love them. So the plan today is for us to do our own Throwdown. We're gonna order the same style green chili cheeseburger from these two places, which is really not too far from each other. And we're gonna start right here at the Owl Bar and Cafe. Let's go! Come and order and pay for it here, and then we'll take it out to you. I think we just need to get one actually. One chili chicken burger? Yeah, green chili chicken The original Owl Bar and Cafe has a very cozy interior, a rustic but friendly atmosphere. And of course, it has a large collection of owl memorabilia. And look at their bragging wall, full of famous celebrities who have visited the place. It's a famous place. <laughs> okay. And pay here? Uh, you'll pay with her oh, right okay. there. Okay. Yep. Sure. Patio. I drink. really need the water. Yeah? <laughs> of course. Uh, yep. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Ooh, Michael. Oh, my. Ketchup. And ketchup. A knife to split it with. Fries. And onion rings. They have everything in there that you'd ever want. Can't wait for you to B roll this stuff. I've got it. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, my God. My favorite onion rings in the world are from A&W, and these taste like them. Oh, They're yeah? smaller than A&W rings. I'm so happy. I'm eating my onion ring. Mm. Definitely a very good one. Oh, that's a heavy burger. Maybe if we cut it in half. First bite. Yes. I'm not going to put any ketchup or anything on it. I'm just going to eat it as it is. It's got lettuce, pickles, onions, cheese, and green chili. The heat just hit my tongue, so it's actually really good. And you know, I normally put ketchup on a burger, and I don't think I'll do anything with this one. It's really good the way it is. We have birds here fighting over crumbs. Yeah, can definitely taste the peppers. Oh yeah. After about 30 seconds, taste them. Mm. 
By the way, I did try the burger with a little bit of ketchup on it. It cheapens it. You gotta eat it just like it is. That's it. Can I eat your half too? No. No? The burger definitely has a lot of things to live up to. This is the birthplace of the green chili cheeseburger. My mouth is just watering just looking at it. But here we go. Mmm. Give it a second. Mm. The heat hits. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Mmm. It's good because it is so fresh. You can taste the freshness of the green chili in it. it tastes really fresh, really good. It's all good. Very good burger. Oh my god, the first burger is so good. Now we are about to go to the second place, which is not too far from Owl Barn Cafe. Our second green chili cheeseburger place is Buckhorn Tavern, bragging about their Food Network status on their main signage. Even though the hanging chili and curb appeal made it look very promising, inside was quite bare, with slightly outdated decor. But we're choosing the patio on a nice day like today. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, can we... Are you guys on the little um, burger? Burger tour, yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love it. And then just as it comes, right? Yep. Yeah, awesome. Sure. Now we're at a place called the Buckhorn Tavern. They have a patio open, which is great because of COVID pandemic still going on. You have to have your mask on when you're out here. Just taking it off to do this. There's no one else here anyway. But they have number seven on GQ's list of best burgers in America. And we said, just bring it as it comes. When I tell you that was the burger that I was thinking about when well, I was like coming home. Want to be able to compare it to what everyone's talking about. So no special stuff on it. Just bring it as it comes. You hungry? starving and we just ate a burger <laughs> but you know it's only half a burger so. so this place is definitely more famous i guess because of the show i have a very high expectation of this place know. and then yeah it's a half pounder Perfect. enjoy and i'll Perfect. come get your uh, verdict here in a second All right, okay. thank you so much <laughs> this burger i haven't even tasted yet and i already know it's going to be better because first of all the other patty that we had while it was really good was about the size of a McDonald's burger patty. This one is a half pound for a roughly the same price, maybe a dollar more. I will say though, that so far, the fries and the onion rings, eh. That's really greasy, holy Yeah, boy. they're not, I don't like the fries. We already messed it up because we were just kind of poking around trying to take a photo, but then it just messing out the display. So apologize for the non- It does look a lot better than this when it comes out. <laughs> all right, first bite of this messy burger, which wasn't messy when we first got it. First of all, it's very clear there's a lot more meat on it. That's a better burger. I can, oh, man, I just got the, the pepper. Oh, no, that's pickle. I just got the pickle. Even better burger. This is what a green chili burger is supposed to taste like. This is the burger that beat Bobby Flay on the throwdown. It's my turn now just to eat the first bite. Yes, it definitely seems to be more substantial. Mmm, it tastes the grill in it and the green chili, holy moly, yes, it's a kick. The thing about this green chili burger is that first bite, just nothing happened. Then wait, wait a minute, yes, right there. And just look at that green chili coming out of that burger. This is oozing with green chili. Owl might be the birthplace of it, but Buckhorn improved on it. It is really good. Ah, oh, so glad we're here. Look at this, guys, I'm really butchering it. You have massacred that I'm burger. I'm really massacred a burger. Sorry, people. This is bad. <laughs> Tastes sure. delicious no matter, though. Yeah. I could do without the fries. Although I did eat every one of them. Kana, <laughs> you're part of this crew, too. You want to try the green chili burger? Sit. Say please. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, what did you think? They both are really good. I thought they were really both good too. We ate at the Owl first, so we had no expectations, right? So we just ate the burger and it was really, we thought it was delicious. And the sides were absolutely incredible. But then we got to the Buckhorn and... I love it so much. The burger <laughs> is much, much better, I it's think. It's a big burger too. I think it's a lot bigger than the, the Owl burger. And just for, I think about 50 cents to a dollar more maybe, totally worth going there for that. Yeah, they actually sell the burger for about six, seven bucks. Yeah. And then if you want to add sides, which is about two or three dollars. I guess what we're saying uh. is if you just want the burger alone, obviously, obvious choice is Buckhorn. Hollif couldn't even get through it. I could I could get through Hollif. <laughs> so, so we're good it? to go. 
Was it worth a detour to go to San Antonio? Oh, yeah. Did we do a detour? How much of a detour was it? Oh, well, this is only an hour away from Albuquerque. It's food. It's, it's, a, it's always worth a detour. It's definitely a food destination. And hopefully you enjoy this video. Yeah, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel and see all our journeys around the United States and hopefully Canada soon, click the subscribe button. Yeah. If you want notifications, every time we post something new, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Thank you very much to the owl and to Buckhorn for great food. Thank you so much. This one probably looks neater and cleaner. Yeah? You want to try it? <laughs> okay, get down off the table. Down. You know better than that. Good girl, huh?